I'm Peter Block at ACC 2019 in New Orleans. On my left is Chu Yang Han from Seoul, Korea. And uh, Chu Yang has been de dealing with the whole question of dual antiplatelet therapy and how long we need to use it after stenting. Your trial is a little bit different, isn't it, than the other trials? So tell me about your trial. Yeah. Uh in meta-analysis, uh, prolonged dual antiplatelet therapy was associated with the reduced risk of MI or stented thrombosis compared with a short uh, DAPT followed by, by aspirin monotherapy. However, uh, prolonged DAPT increases the risk of bleeding compared uh, with aspirin monotherapy, which offsets uh, the benefit uh, from reducing recurrent ischemic events. Uh, therefore, uh, to develop uh, a novel antiplatelet strategy uh, maintaining anti-ischemic efficacy with reducing the risk of bleeding uh, compared with the DAPT is uh, of a paramountly important. Absolutely, I agree. So the question is, now you used, in your trial, your patients used many different kinds of P2Y12 inhibitors. Uh, yes, uh, so uh, in our opinion, uh, P2I12 monotherapy uh, seems to be superior uh, to aspirin monotherapy, classical uh, single antiplatelet therapy. And in our smart choice trial, uh, we compared uh, the three uh, P2I12 inhibitor the monotherapy after three months DAPT with uh, 12 months DAPT. And we used uh, three kinds of P2I12 inhibitors, uh, including clopidogrel and ticagrelo and prosgrel in ACS patients. Okay, so, so I get it right. So three months of dual antiplatelet therapy for everybody after a step, yes. right? And then you split them up into uh, your P2Y12 inhibit uh, inhibitor in alone yeah. versus continuing DAPT. Yes, exactly. Okay. So you followed them up for what, one year? Uh, one year. Our primary endpoint is MACCE, a composite of all cause death, MI, or a stroke at one year. All right. And your outcomes are clearly in favor of simply your uh, P2Y12 inhibitor uh, rather than dual antiplatelet therapy. Uh, yes. Uh, so the P2Y12 monotherapy uh, after Simmons DAPT was non inferior uh, to 12 months DAPT. Uh, at 12 months after index procedure yep. regarding MACC. How about the bleeding differences? Uh, yeah, moreover, uh, the risk of bleeding uh, is lower uh, with the P2I12 inhibitor monotherapy compared with the 12 months DAPT. Okay, so this is another step, another trial, which gives us confidence in the fact that we can, after three months certainly, and maybe even less than that, uh, maybe even after one month, mm -hmm. uh, stop dual antiplatelet therapy and go with a single P2Y12 inhibitor. Would you agree with that? Uh, yes, we believe so. Uh, so, uh, in our opinion, uh, the short uh, duration DAPT uh, plus uh, P2Y12 monotherapy uh, seems to be a uh, most appropriate antiplatelet strategy in current practice. Okay, so if you had a stent, and I hope you do not, <laughs> that's what you would choose? Uh, yes, uh, I go. follow the results of our trial. Okay, so there you go. He's made the trial come out right and uh, has said that that's what he'd like. That sounds like a perfect uh, finish for me. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you.